I think uh, growing up in Kentucky that you were always surrounded by bluegrass music. It seemed like it was always the background music to growing up whenever you listen to the radio or uh, going to church. A lot of, of the singing that went on in churches was with traditional bluegrass instruments. When you'd go to the store, there would always be a, when they had those singings outside on the parking lot, there would be bluegrass music. So, so growing up in Kentucky, it was not a strange thing to hear the ring of a mandolin or a, a banjo or a fiddle in the background. It was just always there. So I think it was kind of inevitable that one day we would record a bluegrass album. The Bishops are a Southern Gospel group, but bluegrass music has always been a part of what we are. And all of our, all of our albums, we've always recorded uh, acoustic type songs, but we wanted to do something that was just truly original bluegrass as we grew up with it. And coming up with the songs for this album was about the most fun I think that we've ever had. Uh, in, the, in the recording studio, getting there with all of those instruments, uh, something other than the strings and the brass and the piano, to get the banjo and the mandolin and the fiddle, uh, the dobro, the guitars. That's probably the most fun recording experience that we've had in a while. And we spend a lot of time in the studio, so it was something neat to do. Coming up with the songs for this album, we wanted to get a mixture of songs that were definitely Bishop songs, but we wanted to get some songs that would lend themselves to this bluegrass nature. And for 15 years, I've, we've kind of been accumulating these songs. It's like one year we'd pick up this song or that song. So, so after 15 years, we finally got our 13 songs. It took us long enough to get around to it. The old song, Howard Gray, that Dad does a recitation on. Uh, we heard Wendy Bagwell do that quite a few years back. I've always enjoyed groups like the Swanee River Boys and the Golden Gate Quartet who are not bluegrass groups, but they had some songs that would lend themselves to that acoustic instrumentation and for the four-part harmony. So I, I can't think of uh, any better songs for this album than the ones that we've got, and it, it turned out great. And uh, being with the guys doing these songs live every night is fun. The folks seem like they enjoy it when we do it. So uh, we're really looking forward to doing this video with these guys. I was always a fan of uh, Ricky Skaggs and Boone Creek. Ricky Skaggs and Tony Rice always did these neat songs that was usually just a guitar and a mandolin. Very simple with the instruments. It uh, really accentuated the harmonies of the songs. So uh, I wrote a song for this album called Saw a Lot of Happy People Up There. That uh, it's a real simple message. It's a bluegrass message. It, it uh, is just a happy song with just the, the acoustic guitar and the mandolin. It's real fun to do live. We gather around one microphone, real simple, and the folks really relate to the message in it too.